what you see here is a not so old tank water heater. Uh, normally, some of the problems that the tank water heaters have is that the control themselves fail. Um, so when they fail, they um, um, they simply just don't. I mean, the, the tank water heater sometimes doesn't have that many parts. You have a heating pa part. Um, you know, you have a control for it. And you have the the anode bar, which is a bar that goes right in the middle. It's a long bar that will help you to avoid a lot of rust. And you have the draining part of it. So this this rust is just for the humidity in this place. Uh, what we're going to do is this. Be careful. Obviously, when you're working with an electric or gas water heater, this uh, line over here is um, 220 volt um, um, wire, and it's connected to a double 30 amp breaker. Uh, on the panel, so you want to make sure that you you know which one is is the one that will turn off the the power on this, and also you want to you know test before you grab any type of wire or whatever, and you don't feel comfortable. Believe me, that you want to hire somebody to do that stuff. I'll give you an example. This is a tester, right? Let me see if I can show you a tester. So the tester will tell you by just getting close to a wire that you have power. Obviously, this is not a wire that is coming over here, but if we come over here. Um, you can see that is no power there. So you want to ensure and reassure that you don't have power there because that can kill you easily. So we're going to remove these two panels over here. We have some small tools that will help us. Now, what we're going to replace is this that you see here. And these two kind of rods that are here are the heating elements and the two controls are inside here. They're a uh, universal kit. Let me put it right this so you can see what, what it is. And this will help you to... Um, to to um, just replace those those old ones that are there. So let's continue by start removing all those things. Now you want to make sure also that you you drain the 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 water from the water heater. Uh, obviously you need to suspend the water. In this case we have two valves over here. Want to suspend the water that going that is going inside, and use the relief the pressure relief valve over here to to kind of create a vacuum. See here will be closed. This little thing will help us to. To um to release more power, I mean more more, oh let air come in as you remove water, so you will create a nice constant flow of water. So let's continue with the. Um, now that you take the covers off and a little bit of insulation, you can see the elements, the rods over there, the heating element, and the thermostat. So you have one on the bottom, and one on top. Now uh, obviously you want to make sure before you disconnect it that it matches, you know your your. The replacement part matches the one that is there so um for the bottom part which are the rods you're gonna need a a socket set like this one which is huge and you just kind of put like a you put a um a screwdriver or a little bar through it to twist it or you know just grab it in a different way um normally the the parts uh, of the thermostat are just kind of placed there they they kind of go in um and they snug into a support so you know once you have all the wires out they will just pretty much pop out uh, you may want to move it up a little bit and then it will come out so you want to make sure that you put all the wires exactly the way they were before so let me show you um, you can see that now the the old part is out take a picture of the wire or the wiring so you know exactly where they're gonna go back again and you know they're they're pretty much show where they're gonna go but this is the new one the old one is a little bit rusted already. It has some deficiencies there. So let's continue. Well, now we have the new um, resistance or the new heater elements and the thermostat installed. 
uh, close the water on the bottom, obviously. Uh, open the, the water to create pressure inside the tank. Um, we can see that is no leaks or anything like that, so we are okay. This this um, heating elements of resistance um, come with a, a nice washer, so you don't need to tie this thing really, really bad. Um, now what, what is uh, left is to turn on the breaker and test it. Mm, like I said before, there is another element that goes inside these tank water heaters, and it's the anode rod. And the rod goes all the way inside and it prevents rust inside the tank. It helps for that, so if you see a lot of rust in your tank water heater, um, it can be that the, the problem is caused by the deterioration of the rod. Um, so I suggest you to change it like that as well. So you, you, you can actually go to a plumbing supply and tell them that you need the rod. It's pretty, pretty long rod, it's like about four feet long, probably a little less, but it's almost four feet. But anyway, um, with this I want to leave you. Be careful again with electricity when you're working. Be, um, use a lot of common sense with this. Um, and that's it. So if you're a subscriber, thank you um, as always for all your support. If you're not, um, please subscribe. And I have hundreds of videos where I teach a lot of the stuff that I know that can be helpful and save you a ton of money. So, well, I'll see you in the next one. I hope um, I can serve you this time with this one. Bye-bye.